Besides the refresher courses, the keynote speakers, the special lectures, more than 35 topical seminar sessions and an all-time high of over 1,240 submitted abstracts have contributed to the scientific reputation and the success of our biennial flagship congress. As Hans said, we had about 1,300 abstracts submitted for poster presentation. Out of these, we selected around a thousand posters. So the quality of the posters compared to the rejection rate was already quite high. And even getting this first round of reduction going was hard work because we sometimes had to reject posters which were otherwise. Now, out of these thousand posters which we selected and which you've uh, displayed and discussed upstairs faithfully over the last three days, and I was really impressed by the a number of people wandering around and by the quality of the posters. Out of these thousand posters, we selected 30 best posters. Now you can imagine how hard we had to work to sift a thousand posters and to come to a consensus of the 30 best posters. And believe me, it was not easy. There were a lot of good posters around, but sometimes you just have to make a choice. Congratulations. You did a wonderful job. I'd like to give you the document for this, duly signed. Congratulations. Wonderful work and thank you very much for presenting it at our conference. Congratulations. Wonderful piece of work. Here's your document proving that you won the prize. And there's also 750 euros attached to it. You know, and as I have already mentioned, the next Congress will take place 2015 in September in Vienna. I just first of all, I'll say that Hans has been a brilliant president and will continue to be a brilliant president until June when, when I take over. But I, I want to thank Hans Press for doing a great job over the last few years. The, the date is the 2nd to the 5th of September. So it's earlier in the year, 2015. Uh, this is a beautiful city and it's a fascinating and interesting city with a wonderful history. And something very interesting has happened. We've had scientific chairs, we had a great scientific chair this year. We've had scientists in the past. We've had anesthesiologists in the past. We've had neurologists. We've never had a psychologist. And our chair next time round is Chris Eccleston from Bath in the UK. Chris is in the programme as introducing this, but we knew long ago we'd have to go before this. We wanted to flag up that he will be the chair. So, in some ways, the programme will be similar, in some ways it will be different, because he'll add a little bit of uh, psychology interest to the presentations and the papers and the way things are themed. So I think you'll find in some ways it's similar, in some ways it's similar. going to continue to build bridges between science and clinical practice, and I think that's an incredibly important thing and something that the European Pain Federation will always continue to do. It is an unforgettable event, not only to me, but I hope to all of, of you. And thank you also for your contribution and your commitment. This Congress was most successful in the history of EFI, not only because we had this all-time high number of submitted abstracts, but also because we have reached the 4,000 limit of registered participants here in Florence. And now, I think we have reached the end of this Congress, and it is my privilege to have the final say. And what I want to do 
first is to thank you, because it's you and only you that made this Congress such a really great success. So thank you.